hotly anticipated. It was the Hinman emails, a former director of the SEC way back when, who made the proclamation that Ether didn't appear to be a security back in 2018. Those emails and documents related to that speech had been sealed for a number of years. And today, as part of a lawsuit with Ripple Labs, those emails have been released, shedding light on how the SEC discussed this internally at the time in what is a really timely drop of some public documents as the debate around crypto asset securities rages ever more intensely. So this was a big story, hotly anticipated again, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to throw it straight to Wendy. Did anything from these emails stand out to you, and does it change your opinion of the SEC and how it's dealing with this asset class? Don't ever ask me in my opinion of the SEC live on air, please, because... <laughs> We ask you every day, Wendy. <laughs> okay, so I, every I, day. I was live streaming yesterday on my channel and I got this news. My daughter was like, Mom, she had came in and she wanted candy. And right when we found out that um, the Hinman docs were going to be, or that, well, no, that was for something else. But anyways, I gave her candy to celebrate because Gary Gensler, you're getting fired, man. All right, that's something else. I'm, I'm actually very excited that this is finally released. I was able, I was given the chance to go through these a little bit earlier this morning. I'm going to be dropping a video with my thoughts on it. But basically, I think that this is good for the industry. It just kind of shows, like, I'm not a legal person, so I'll pass this over to Jen in a second. But I just think that this is good to show that the SEC has no idea what they're talking about. The people that we are paying, we're funding their public salary to essentially protect poor people, unaccredited investors from all the dangerous things in crypto. They have no idea on how to actually classify the stuff. So they went ahead and it sounded like they reached out to Vitalik um, to kind of understand what this stuff is, which to me is problematic because, again, he's the creator of Ethereum. He's got a lot of money invested in it. And I just think that a lot of the the back and forth that we've seen over the since like 2018, 2019, even 2017 has been absolutely ridiculous. And I think a lot of this could have all been avoided um, if we introduced Hester Purse's Safety Harbor Act to help these di these digital assets become non securities via decentralization. So I feel like that's going to be a big argument that we're going to see in the future. I know Library is tweeting out a lot about what's going on and what's happening. Um, we have all the crypto Twitter citizen journalists that are going through these documents and um, just having a field day with it. So hopefully this is good for the future of the industry. Um, but again, I'm not a legal person. So, Jen, would you like to comment on this stuff? I'm also not a legal person, I have to say. I'm the hashes legal person, which doesn't hold much weight. And Zach, I must say that the studio energy is just great. You should be in the studio all the time. It just brings that extra zhuzh to the show. Uh, so the documents, we were all expecting these documents to drop. And I think that uh, a lot of people like could kind of expect what was going to come out in the documents. XRP isn't directly mentioned in them. It will be interesting. Like I'm interested to see just how the discussion plays out in court. Of course, the judge is expected to make a ruling in the case in the case by the end of September. And so I'm just curious about how this progressive decentralization discourse is going to is going to take place. I'm curious about how the SEC is going to respond because they really tried to not release these documents. And so I'm just curious to watch and see how this plays out and how the results of these documents being released in this case might inform the Coinbase case. And so I think that this is going to not only have an effect on um, the SEC versus Ripple, but also the SEC versus Coinbase, maybe Binance, even though that that is um, that is totally different. There are totally different allegations being made there. So I think that this is just going to be good for pushing the regulatory conversation forward, which is what people thought was going to happen anyways. Will, what do you think? Yeah, there's two thoughts on this. One, do these emails help out the entire ecosystem? And two, does this help out the Ripple Labs case? To so the first point, I think it does help out the entire ecosystem because they see that this is more of a partisan issue or bipartisan issue here where we have like an old administration, old SEC under Donald Trump having one purview on this entire topic. And then we have a different administration come in and they change the tune. And in the meantime, there's all these founders and developers building all these projects and they, they were acting on this old information. All of a sudden the administration changes and you also have to change your entire business model. And I think that kind of points to like the Binance US case and also the Coinbase case right now where they were acting under the information that they were given. They're building under the information for years. They thought these things were okay to build on top of or to use or to solicit and sell. 
and then new administration comes in and all of a sudden the rules of the road change. Imagine driving down the highway and then all of a sudden they just flip it on you and say, you need to go the other way right now. And if you don't, you're going to cause a huge pile up and there's going to be a lot of problems. Well, it's kind of what the SEC did do a lot of cases. Now to the ripple part of this, I'm not sure it helps out Ripple Labs as much as they might think. Why? Well, because the XRP token itself doesn't really seem to be showing this gradual move towards decentralization. They might claim that, but there isn't like a lot of documentation showing that. Ethereum, on the other case, does, right? So they did do initial coin offering back in 2015 and 2016. And over time, there's been a huge dilution of ETH. There's been a lot of applications built on top of Ethereum that do use ETH as gas, as a commodity. XRP, we haven't quite seen that, mostly because we haven't seen a lot of adoption besides bag holding and buying of it. There's also this huge question of Ripple Labs holding a bunch of XRP. They still do this escrow schedule where every few months they release a bunch of XRP into the wild. This XRP was first set aside for Ripple Labs when Ripple started up. So you might say there's some similarities between the Ethereum Foundation and, and the Ripple Labs getting their token allocations. But I think over time, you can see like it's a little bit different. So I'm unsure how this helps out Ripple Labs and the XRP army. Zach? Yeah, as you saw, XRP pumped on the news and then sold off rather sharply as crypto tokens do. Interesting to see. To me, quickly, the thing that stands out is that this wasn't a fringe opinion of the agency at the time, right? This was discussed among various higher ups at the SEC before Hinman made these public remarks. I think the SEC more recently has tried to distance itself from some of those remarks and cast it as though it was sort of one man's opinion. But clearly, I think the documents that are released today show that this was discussed among various people at the agency itself who gave sort of tacit sign-off to what Hinman ultimately said. So I think from a narrative perspective, that is worth noting because uh, previously it had been sort of shunted aside as though Hinman was speaking sort of out of turn. So to see these back and forth and to see the edits and conversations in the email record is really fascinating to watch. And this whole Ripple case has just aged fantastically into this whole uh, conversation around more than just XRP and around a whole bevy of assets. So it is fascinating to watch this drop here and now.